a new documentary that you will not believe. Watch Jim Guy ask Leonardo da Vinci questions? What? How do you get Leonardo da Vinci? He's dead. Uh, anyways... Wait, why is he performing a ritual? Actually, no. I'm done with this. Bye. Hello there. Now, as you can probably tell by the intro, I'm going to be doing an interview with Leonardo da Vinci himself. However, I'm going to be focusing more on his interest in aviation. Now, how may I be doing an interview with Leonardo da Vinci himself if he's dead, you may be asking yourself? Now, I asked myself this question too, and I came up with the reasonable idea of performing a ritual to bring him back from the dead. Is there any here telling me back from the dead? <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's me. I just wanted to interview you about your relationship with aviation. Okay, but let's make this quick. Uh, it's kind of hard to wake up from what's supposed to be an eternal sleep. Oh uh, yeah, it shouldn't take that long. It's only a couple questions. So, first question. Did you have any friends? Yes, I did. His name is Francesco Mazzi and he was one of my many pupils. He stood with me until my death on May 2nd, 1519. Yeah, right. So on a different topic, there are a lot of people that say that you are very interested in the idea of humans flying. Is this true? Uh, yes it was, but I was especially interested in human flights in 1488 to, ni in to 1514. Okay, okay, we get it. No need to overshare. Overshare? It's an interview. Anyways, next question. Your sketches of complex designs are very popular. But the designs that I want to focus on are the ornithopter and the helicopter design. Can you explain how those are designed to work? Uh, yes, in fact, I can. The ornithopter was based off uh, birds, uh, but I designed the wings to be that, like a bat's wings, um, since they look the lightest. It was designed for a pilot to lie down uh, in the ornithopter with their arms out in the wings. <clears throat> Uh, can you hand me some of the... Let's see, picture. Lay down in the wings and flap them. Then the pilot would use... Steer the machine through the air. Now, what you call the helicopter is very different from that. Instead of just one pilot, there were multiple, and instead of wings, we used an air screw. Uh, which, would which would generate thrust and lift for the helicopter. Right here. Wow, it's amazing that you thought about all those things while designing those. Which means, leads me to my next question. What went into designing these machines? Well, a lot of examining birds and how they flew, and during these days of examining birds, I, I came up with the concept of lift. This is also how I realized that the flapping of birds' wings doesn't generate a lot of lift, more thrust. Wow, that must have taken a lot of time. So did you build any of these? Unfortunately, no. Like most of my designs, I didn't build either of them. But I don't think that they would have flown since they might have been too heavy. So you spent a couple decades being interested in human flight. You didn't even make an effort to make any of your designs. So you also invented the parachute. Why? Well, we needed a way to protect their flight, so we designed the parachute. Sorry, it's just too fast for me to comprehend. Why did you waste all that time in your life designing something that you wouldn't even build? Because it's about drive. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Da Vinci. You're very welcome, Jim Guy.
And with that, the interview was over. Most of my questions were answered, and I felt somewhat complete inside. But one question remains. Why is it about drive? It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Put it in the work. Put it in the hours and take what's ours. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Put it in the work. Put it in the hours and take what's ours.